Welcome back everybody. I sincerely apologize for abruptly ending the last video. Uh, every once in a while, due to the heat, I just get overcome and um, I just feel very lightheaded. Um, I start, I break out into a massive sweat and that was happening to me at the end of the last video. And all I need is just a few glasses of water, which I've had, and about 20 minutes to just to get my composure back and all should be good with the world again. And I'm absolutely fine. It's not the first time this has happened to me and it certainly won't be the last. So thank you very much for your patience and thank you very much for returning to the end of my kiln unloading. So I'm calling this part two. I wanna revisit um, the, um, the big bowl that I made uh, because I kind of abruptly put it down and, and, uh, and shut off the last video. So this again, yeah, no surprise, opulent sea spray and indigo float. And my indigo float was only about an inch and a half, so it really ran. But uh, in combination with the sea spray, I guess it was just, it put enough movement in my sea spray that the sea spray ran. Now my sea spray on its own is very reliable, very stable. And, uh, and I don't get run very often unless I use, well, I never get run unless I use it in combination. So this is Amico Indigo Float and Opulent Sea Spray. And I will just remove that, um, that nuisance. And again, these are the, uh, the smaller bowls that will go with it. So I have four of these to this large one. This one is four, eight, it's almost 12. It's about 11 and a, about 11 inches wide and it is four and a half inches tall. So that'll make a nice salad bowl. And, uh, and, I, and I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. It's exactly what I expected it to do. So I'm glad with this. All right, now down to the last few pieces, which are just something that make me chuckle. So, <laughs> oh, it's sealed. Oh, darn. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this. Okay, so <laughs> these are planters. Um, she has her exit and he has his exit. Uh, it's sealed, unfortunately, so I'm gonna to have to figure out a way to, uh, to open that up without breaking off his, his member. But uh, they're really cute, but the whole premise behind them and what made me just absolutely giggle. So I made the female one. The male one was the one that I saw online. I think I saw it on, on um, Pinterest or something like that. And, and it just, I just giggled and giggled and giggled. And I said, well, let me make a female counterpart. So here's the female counterpart. And she'll just sit in her little, her little tray like this. And the whole premise is that when you, here's my, uh, my glass of water. So when you, um, and I'm just holding her because I don't want her to fall over. When you overwater your plant, she pees. <laughs> like that just cracks me up. It just absolutely cracks me up. It makes me giggle, it makes me laugh. And uh, anyway, I'm, I'm really delighted with these. And um, anyway, I hope, uh, I hope they sell and then the water just collects in there. Let me just toss it out. And there, there you go. And so she's got her stand and he's got his stand. And, uh, and that's that. Uh, and so they're just put in a little succulent. They're not very big. They're only like four inches tall by about three and a half inches wide. They're not very big, but um, I'm telling you, these are the, are the funniest thing that I've seen in a, in a very long time. And uh, I made two sets, so let's just see how the other set turned out. They're slightly different in that they fell over on this one, filled in too. Okay, so I have a problem. Maybe I didn't make the hole in his, uh, in his, his member wide enough, but she's without arms. And because uh, they fell over when I was loading the kiln and the arms broke off, so I had to do some, uh, some repair work. But she works on the same pre premise. And here he is. So, um, like I said, these, if these don't just make you smile and, and, and make you laugh, um, I would demonstrate how he works, but um, he's sealed. So I'm gonna have to figure out 
uh, some way of, uh, of breaking that open so that I don't break off his member. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. My kiln is unloaded, but there's one last thing I want to show you um, that I did in the bisque firing, and I made these thirsty coasters, and so I did not take them and fire them in my glaze firing because I didn't want them to vitrify. So I used uh, stroke and coat um, on the dragonflies and Amico um, uh, chartreuse, Amico uh, their um, underglaze, and on the fish and uh, the black under, um, I think it is, um, just the black under black velvet underglaze and I put it in the little dots and I used the diamond core tools that they just came out with. Um, I don't know what, the, I can't remember what they call them, but all the, all the little um, um, marking tools that they have. And that was fun. And then what I also have done, and I bought a couple of months ago, I bought these um, um, cork coaster bottoms. And so what they do is they just go on the bottom of the coaster like that. And, uh, and then they just are gonna sit on your table and you just put your drink, obviously you put your drink on top of them and uh and because they are not vitrified they will absorb whatever moisture and condensation comes off your glass so that's fun but I, the reason i showed you this one is not for the design but because i have already applied the uh the it's got uh, a sticky on one side and the cork on the other side so that's it and that's all i have for you today i want to thank you all very much and bearing with me as i went through my uh my um my my small little break I hope you all have a really wonderful day. Uh, if there are any fathers watching, I wish you a happy Father's Day next weekend. Uh, um, there's just uh, a lot going on. I'm going to Canada at the end of the month with my husband to go visit some of my children. I have three and two of them live in Canada. So I will go and visit them and I'm really super excited. So my pottery studio is not gonna be uh, seeing too much activity over the next few months. And uh, so I wish you all a wonderful summer. Um, take care of yourselves during the heat. For those of you that are in are in um, in hot temperatures, and uh, don't let what just happened to me happen to you. Just drink plenty of water and uh, stay cool. If you like this video, please hit the the like button. If you haven't subscribed and want to subscribe to my channel, I have lots of unloading videos. I have a few uh, videos of showing you some tools and things that I enjoy using, and uh, and how to make certain pieces that I have in my in my. Uh, I guess in my studio. Anyway, thank you all very much. Have a really super day and uh, thank you very much for watching. I enjoy making these videos for you and, I, and I'm, I'm glad that you enjoy watching them. Bye everybody. Have a wonderful day.